a little bit easier or at least less complicated riff to play. We're back on these F's because we're in drop D and the riff starts with an F and then a high F hammering on to an F sharp. Happens just like that. Here's what gets a little weird. Um, the notes you're going to play are an F sharp, D sharp, and a C natural. But when you hit that F sharp, you're also going to play an open G. And when you play the D sharp, you're also going to play an open D. And when you hit the C sharp, he bends it just a little. I'm sorry, the C. When you hit the C, he bends it just a little to almost a C sharp and plays an open B. And that bend is probably happening because he's playing it so quickly. So that whole riff again. Then, it, then it's uh, it, there's like a sax, and the guitar just kind of goes, just plays a bunch of that kind of thing. Then it does this again. And then it does one of those uh, tremolo riffs, and uh, it's back to kind of a six eight one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six, and those notes are going to be a B flat, E flat, C natural, and F sharp. Then right back to this. kind of deteriorates down to like a back, 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 and falls apart after that. If you really slow it down and listen, you'll hear all the little inconsistencies and, and um, things that I think are just, you know, I think the drums are just improvising there, so don't get confused there. They played with a, a drum, a kick drum playing along with the guitar. Then after a while, Mike Patton and Trevor Dunn come in and they're playing kind of a, a combined bass and vocal line with a drum and a whole other drum thing happening on top of it. It's very confusing. But Trace Bruins is really consistent with this rhythm. Now, I have to admit, I don't know where the one is on this. <laughs> uh, it, to me, after nearly 20 years, actually 20 years of listening to this album, I feel like the first note is an F. And that seems consistent with the rest of the song since there's a whole lot of F in this song. Um, and I mean that in the nicest possible way. There is a really consistent rhythm that's happening there that Trace Bruins is doing, and I'm going to count the eighth notes here, slowly. They are one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. And in case I'm not going slow enough for those notes, let me go even slower. The first note's an F. Then there's a D and a C sharp. Then this note, which is now a G sharp, then a C and a B, then an F sharp.